Hello again. Uh, now I will be uh, discussing the benefits and pitfalls of emotional and mobility web mapping based on a case study uh, conducted in two Czech cities, Ostrava and Hradec Králové. The main objective of our research was to compare the results from the participatory web mapping with traditional questionnaire surveys. Uh, specifically focusing on the mobility goals of seniors in Ostrava and Hradec Králové. Uh, we employed a mixed method approach com uh, combining traditional pen and paper uh, interview and computer assisted web in uh, interviews with emotional and uh, mobility web mapping. The data were uh, uh, processed by uh, and in uh, geo code using a various method uh, to ensure accuracy. We use the spatial distribution analysis using the M function. Uh, questioner, or, uh, yeah. The most imp uh, important issues between uh, the three methods of survey are bias in the sample of the respondent, issues with recording geometries, how you can see uh, on these pictures, and the occurrence of the target locations. Uh, and differences in the targets uh, in questionnaire respondents uh, identified 23 types of important targets, uh, whereas web mapping respondents identify uh, 16 and 12 kinds of important tar uh, targets in Hradec Králové and Ostrava, respectively. And this shows a uh, variance in perception and highlights the importance of method uh, selection. Web mapping offers several benefits, including real-time data collection, uh, engaging an interactive user interface and the uh, ability to provide uh, spatial insights. However, there are also pitfalls such as uh, data accuracy uh, issues, technical barriers for seniors and privacy concerns. Addressing these issues is essential to fully uh, leverage web mapping's potential. Uh, this slide illustrates the differences in spatial distribution between the two methods. The maximal clustering for questionnaire response occurred at 200 meters, while for web-based mapping uh, it was at 325 meters. This difference indicated that the method of data collection can significantly influence the spatial patterns we observe. And in conclusion, while web mapping has its advantages, it also has limitations that need careful consideration. Combining web mapping with traditional methods uh, can provide a more comprehensive understanding. Future research should focus on uh, improving data accuracy and addressing privacy concerns to enhance the effectiveness of this method. And when you will have a time, you can uh, show to our project. Oh, where is it? It's, it's a, it's a QR code. Thank you so much. <laughs>